is made by Extra Speed. It's called Extra Speed Aluminum Complete Assembled Transmission Gearbox for the Axio SCX10. And as you can see there, okay, this is what it looks like. It's a complete metal box with a metal cover over the spur gear. It comes with everything you need and it comes with the pinion gear. So you have pinion gear and the spur gear and the complete transmission already put together. I will be taking it apart, make sure it's got grease in it, see what kind of gear is in it and I'll show you that when I do that. This time I'm going to take apart the transmission and see what kind of gears we have and what kind of grease is in There's hardly any grease in here. There are plastic gears. And we have a metal container, but we have what looks like plastic gears. So we may have to change those out. We're going to run them stock and see how this thing works. But it's smooth, it feels smooth. Could use a little more grease. So I will put a little grease in it. I like to use CowRC.com's butter butter. It's waterproof. And it's a pretty red. Now you don't want to put too much grease in here because you can bind up one of these transmissions by putting too much grease in it. But as much as they had in it, we got to have some. It does have metal bearings, and actually the shaft is metal. on the bearings on this side. Make sure that this does not jam up on us. Alrighty. Fits together pretty good. This feels pretty good. Pretty nice feeling transmission. Let's make sure we don't got anything jammed up. Let's 
Motor mount made out of metal. So now we'll put this back together. Put the spacers back in where they belong. Metal screws. Too tight when you're using the doggone electric screwdriver. It can definitely mess up the threads on your or the head of your screw. Always smart to maybe put them in with that, but take the final tightening and get yourself a Good set of wrenches to put that piece. The tip that I have here on this is part of the kit. The kit comes like this. All the others are stored in the top of here. spacer back in here is not going to be the easiest thing in the world. That's why they make needle nose pliers. And I probably tightened it up too much. And it won't fit. Back out these other two screws a little bit. Space and where the spacer goes and the transmission. Now I got the tool in the way. tight on those before we actually put it into the car. It seems to be working real good. Okay, 
again I don't tighten it up with the go around and make sure all the screws are tightened in the factory. We don't want any loose screws on our trip out to the test room. Again, now we have the grease in our transmission and it seems to be running quite smooth. We'll hope for the best when it comes time to test this baby out.